Hey what's up guys, this is Crafty Fox, and today we are making some USPS box trucks. So USPS, the United States Postal Service, has these uh, box trucks. Now they don't really deliver directly to the customer. These ones, I think they're used to haul mail between like distribution centers. And I actually live near one, so I kind of see this a lot, so I want to build it. And uh, I have two different versions here. Uh, by two different manufacturers. This one's manufactured by International. So that is the International box truck and right here is the Ford Cargo box truck. So yeah, uh, let's get started on this build. All right, to get started on the International box truck, we're gonna use a uh, black wool. Have them have two blocks of space in between them. That's gonna be our front wheels. And then we're gonna take um, stone brick slab, add a row of four in the front. Then add two to the sides behind the wheels. And then we're going to take a gray concrete. Let's start right between these wheels, two blocks wide. And we're going to extend it so it is uh, 13 blocks long, including this one. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Okay, so <laughs> I messed up a little bit. So it is 12, not 13. Let me do the other side and the back section it's going to be four blocks wide so that pops out a little bit. Then we're going to have two bedrocks in the front for the vents. Add a quartz slab on top of it and quartz stairs on the sides facing the sides <laughs> outwards and the one behind it we're going to have it upside down on top of that one right side up. And then between that would have quartz blocks, just add that. Add two quartz to the sides like this. And let's add, I think that's a two by two, or maybe a three by two. No, it's just two by two, so two by two right here. Actually, never mind, three by two. All right, so we'll have that three by two of quartz in the back. That's going to be the start of where the box is, so let's add a light gray wool on the sides. So it's going to be three blocks tall. I'm going to have the USBS logo, just like a bird in a blue background. So I'm going to make an L shape with the lapis lazuli, same thing on both sides. And then I'm going to take a quartz block and let's add uh, seven blocks. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Same thing on the other side. And let's add another layer to it, of quartz. And the back, we can add a two by um, two by two of quartz like that, and add one to the top side like that. Then we're gonna take lapzuli, add one in the back, and add one on the side, and make them space apart with another one in front of that. So it should look like that, and we're going to have quartz in between uh, these lapis on the sides. In the back, we're going to have light gray wool, like so, three blocks tall. And redstone torch for our back lights, and also um, let's place another brick slab on the bottom of this, four blocks wide. And also the bottom part of the truck, we're going to have that with uh, another brick slabs. And uh, we're going to leave a gap of space in between that and uh, the step right here. And then add two on this side. Just sticks out a bit. And go to the other side, do the same thing. Leave that gap of space alone and then make this two blocks wide. Then we're going to take another brick stairs, add two right here. That's going to be part of the steps to get up to the cab. And the back wheel, um, we're going to skip two blocks. So two blocks of space in between that and the back section. So that's going to be our wheel. Now let's place a stone button on all the wheels. Placing our last wheel right here. We can also add in uh, mud flaps to the rear wheels with um, another brick stairs upside down in the back. And that's to get up over here. 
Now we're going to take black stained glass block, add a row four right here for the front, front windshield, and let's add a quartz underneath it. And on the sides, we're going to have black stained glass panes like this, and we're going to take spider string just so we can place the carpet for the roof. So place a spider string inside and add four block wide of carpet. So the top of the box is pretty simple. We're gonna have uh, just stone slab like this go across. And that's about it. For the other truck it is a little bit white on top so that middle section is but I think for this international one it's just the same color so after you do that we're gonna have stone slabs and add that to the bottom of the box like this both sides of course and then we need to add in side view mirrors so let's take skull and skull place that above the stairs both sides and also a lever on the sides of the windshield for our um, side view mirrors, which is an iron bar on the side of the glass. All right, so now I guess it's time to make the USPS iconic stripe, or rather stripes. So that's going to be blue and red. So the blue is going to be on top. Actually, never mind. The red's going to be on top. I don't know how I got this wrong. Maybe because I flipped it. I don't know. So it's supposed to look like this. So to make it, we need a red banner. And then we're going to add a 2 by 3 of Lafsui on the bottom. So it looks like red and blue. And then we're going to add bone meal row on the bottom. Bone meal row on the top. And then a bone meal row in the middle. And that's how we get um, this thing, which kind of looks like a Dutch flag. And we're going to have that on the sides of the box truck like that. And also on the back as well. So once you're done with that, um, I'm going to take an inspection to see if we're all done here. Because I think uh, that's pretty much it. So yeah, that's how you build uh, the international box truck. Now I'm going to show you how to build uh, the USPS um, Ford, Ford cargo box truck. So... First thing we're going to do, we're going to take out our um, black wool and have um, the space apart, two blocks in the middle. That's going to be our front wheels. And then we're going to have um, gray concrete, two blocks wide, two blocks above the ground. And let's make it two by two like that. Then we're going to try to make like this back section. So we're going to skip a block right here. Leave that gap alone and then continue this um, gray concrete. And that's going to be um, nine blocks long. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And I miscalculated that. And that's actually eight. So just subtract one from that. So this is eight. And <clears throat> then we're going to have another brick slabs in the back we're gonna be hovering above the ground let's make that four blocks wide and then let's take out another brick um, stairs have two upside down ones facing each other so it looks like that on the sides we're gonna have a stone brick slab like this then two brick stone brick slabs in the middle like that and the sides of that cobblestone wall. Then on top of that, it's going to be a 2 by 3 of gray concrete. Then we're going to add redstone torches on the sides with a stone button on the top. Now actually, not all of the trucks that are for uh, Ford Cargo actually have this thing in the back. Uh, so if you want, you could just make it like this. But I think it's cooler to have two different designs. So we're going to have cobblestone wall on top sides like that. And then we're going to make uh, the corners of the box. So let's go over here to the outer edge, add uh, three 
light gray wool blocks on top of each other stacked. And then two in the back like this. Then right in the front, we're going to have Lapsuli make an L shape. Then the back, let's add Lapsuli right there with a quartz block in the front. And then another Lapsuli and the rest should just be quartz. So I'm just going to be filling that in. Alright, so then we're going to have stone brick, or rather just stone slab, just add a perimeter around, just using the entire box like that. I'm going to add a left facility right here, quartz block, and then fill in this front of the box of quartz. And this middle part is going to be quartz slab, so just add that right there. And let's make the front part of it. <laughs> so, um, how are we going to do this? Let's take quartz pillar block. So that's the one with these lines, and we're going to have two blocks in the middle, like that. And quartz block on the sides of it, and add a row on top. Then we're going to add an L shape to the sides like that. And two blocks in the middle in the back. Then we're going to take a black stained glass block, just add two in the back and four in the front. And panes for the driver and the passenger parts. Then we're going to take string and fill in this area so that we can place our uh, white carpet on top. So just make it a flat top. Uh, then we need to connect this area together. So, huh? Let's take another brick stairs, face that towards the back, and that's going to be in the gap. And on the side of that is going to be one facing the other direction like that upside down towards the front and in front of that is going to be um uh quartz stairs facing the other direction then let's add stone buttons for the headlights and also for our front wheel looks like we didn't do our back wheel all right then we're going to take another brick slab go down over here add it um, in the middle around this section right behind the first wheel and then we extend it all the way to the back and repeat the same thing on the other side and once we're done with that we can add in our back wheel so the back wheel is going to be skip two blocks of space from this thing then add our back wheel with a stone button on the side of it. Once we're done with that, we could take stone slab, add it to the bottom of the box on the sides. Cool, and then let's add this little um, exhaust pipe with uh, two nether brick fences with a nether brick slab on top. And for the side view mirrors, let's add um, levers on the sides with an iron door, I mean an iron bar on top of it. Then for this bottom layer, uh, in the front we're going to have another brick slab, just hovering above the ground. It's going to be sort of like, it looks like a bumper. So it looks like that, and if you want to, I guess you can connect these things together so that there's no real hole right there and yeah let's take an inspection to see and I think I forgot the detail with the um, banners on the side so let's use the banner um, it's the same banner as the one before so if you didn't watch that part you can go back in the video so just add that 
And we're also going to add in a box down below, right in front of the back wheel. So just skip a block and then add two slabs. The other side, let me see what that looks like. It's just a slab at the second block towards the front. So like right there. So there you have it. That's how you make the USBS box trucks. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. And if you want to, uh, you can customize this however you want to because I know in real life, the USBS, United States Postal Service, they use different variants of this truck. So sometimes it doesn't have this thing in the back and sometimes there's like another wheel or like the box right over here is longer. So I do know there's other similar variations of this, uh, but this is pretty much the basic design that you can use on your server or like your city. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you do, please hit that like button below and subscribe if you haven't already because I will be uploading more videos like this in the future. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.